Baker, then I must be back in... Would you be kind enough to tell me what day it is? It's the day I place you under arrest for arson, resisting arrest, and being a general all-round pain in the what? ass. No! You can't arrest me! Not now, I just got back from the last century. Would you look at that? Edna Strickland, drunk as a skunk. I'm not drunk, you reprobate. I'm a time traveler. Sure you are. <laughs> I'm loving this. I I'll bring it to you. Come with me. We can do the whole day over if you want. We can fix everything. We can start by drying you out. Come on, into the station with you. You can bunk with me, doll. I'd rather die. Stop it. Unhand me, you dolt. Well, I guess that's it for Edna. Yes, I suppose it is. You know, whoever said time heals all wounds didn't know squat about time travel. What do we do about that, DeLorean? No need to do a thing. Ever since we synced up the time circuits, the temporal breakdown in Edna's DeLorean has accelerated at an exponential rate. By my calculations, the timeline should catch up with it in five, four, three, two, one, now! What the hell? Hey, Parker, you're not gonna believe this! See? what I say? Ready to go home? Wait, Doc, the timeline's not fixed yet. Look! Sonny! You missed all the fireworks at the expo. Yeah, so I heard. Listen, I heard a rumor about you two. I guess we gotta come clean. Ta-da! Hottie took me to Reno last night! Try to keep a secret in Hill Valley. <laughs> well, you're gonna congratulate us or what? Then it's true. My grandpa's married the wrong grandma. I'm done for. Hey, are you feeling alright, kid? You don't look so hot. Trixie, you can't marry Artie. Is this about my past with Kid? Cause Artie ain't holding that against me. That's right, darling. The past is the past. Yeah, but... Artie, you can't do this. You're not supposed to get married for another five years. Well, I know Trixie and I were taking things slow. But after that witch Edna got me fired with that postcard, we kind of accelerated things a little. The postcard? Oh, man. Can you see through me? Nope. Never could figure you out. I thought you'd be thrilled for us. You don't understand. You're supposed to marry Sylvia Miskin. But I did marry Sylvia Miskin! What? You didn't think my real name was Trixie Trotta, did ya? Don't feel too bad. It was kind of a surprise to me, too. Wait a minute. Your Grandma Sylvie? Grandma? Hey, how old do you think I am, kiddo? Uh, but you're so... so skinny and blonde and... Huh. Yeah, you know, it's I amazing. Think, oh, oh my god. I've them. seen you naked. You're... Sylvia? Huh. You okay, pal? Yeah, I'm fine. Great. You kids go off and have yourself a wonderful honeymoon. And don't worry about your dad, Artie. I'm sure he'll come around. Come around to what? Um, to approving your marriage. You seem kind of mad about it back at the high school. Well, that was before I got a look at her. Besides, as my dear old father Seamus used to say, no sense in getting riled up over something I can't do nothing about. And honestly, now that I met her, I can't imagine a better daughter-in-law than the charming Miss Sylvie here. Aww. Thank you, Dad. As for you, stranger, I'll thank you to not go poking your nose in McFly family business. It's been a pleasure, Agent Crockett. See you in the funny paper, Sonny. Goodbye, Grandma. You know, I took some pictures of Trixie in 1931. Hey, that's my grandma you're talking about. Here we are, back in good old 1986. May 14th? 15th. Best to build in a little lag time. Gives you a chance to catch up. 
Looks like the estate sale is still going on. Hey, don't you want to stay, Doc? You gotta stop the bank from selling off all your old stuff. What are you talking about? Estate sale? Bank? I'm not dead, Marty. Claire and I are having a little garage sale, that's all. Garage sale? You mean... Marty, you're back from your trip. Hello, Doc. Selling off the family treasures, eh? Uh, not quite, but I hope you find something you like. Speaking of which, did you find what you were looking for? Yeah, I sure did. Great! Hey, is that a box of Asimov? Let me get this straight. Are you telling me you live here now? In 1986? Well, naturally. Claire and I maintain a part-time residence here. Wasn't that the case when you left? No. Strange. I can't imagine not sticking around. After all, I've got my late father's foundation to supervise. If I wasn't here, who'd present the annual Earhart Brown Scholarship for Young Scientists? <laughs> Something funny? I'll explain it to you later. I don't see what's so funny about looking after a family legacy. Oh, almost forgot. I've got something for you. Happy graduation. Graduation? But that's not for another... The McFlies of Hill Valley. An exhaustively detailed history of your family. From your great-great-grandfather Seamus to the present. You traveled through time to write this? Well, most of the research was done traditionally, but your grandma Sylvia proved to be something of a mystery. Which is why you traveled back to 1931, uh, to look for her. Exactly. Who knew she was singing in a speakeasy under a stage name? This is great, Doc. Thanks. Ah, uh, it's the least I could do for the man who saved me from making the worst mistake of my life. Yoo-hoo! Dr. Brown! <laughs> Edna? Edna? Ah. Einie! What's going on? What are you doing on my door? The same thing I do every afternoon, silly man. Giving him such much needed exercise? Isn't that right, Einstein? Hey, Dollface, it's past time for our 3.30. Coming, sweetie! Oh, Mr. McFly, have you seen my stepson anywhere? Oh, Biff, I think you're late for an appointment. Oh, gosh, you're right, Mr. McFly. Hi, Marty. Don't they make a great little family? You'd never know they met in prison. Don't say anything. Let's just walk quietly into the lab and hope there are no more surprises. Marty, you can't be here. If your younger self sees you, the consequences could be catastrophic. My younger self? Oh, right! Bring him along, too. This concerns all of us. What do you mean? Does something happen to us? Do we turn into assholes or something? Nah, we're fine. But our great-great-grandkids? What the hell? Great Scott! Doc! You gotta come back with me! Back Don't to listen to him, Doc. It's me you gotta help. If you want to save Jennifer and our 12 kids... What? That timeline was overwritten five jumps back. Doc, Jennifer's out of how can there be two more of me here? I have no idea. My old rates of space-time continuum prison. should be tearing Not apart like world. a cheap dish rag right now. It already is. What my evil twin and I are trying to say is the future is totally jacked up. And you gotta come with me to save it. No, me! So... We meet at last. You've altered my timeline once too often. What's going on, Doc? Well, we do seem to have a conundrum on our hands. Or three. Yeah, Doc, but which one is the real me? Isn't it obvious, Marty? Come on! 
prepare to be erased. Doc, wait! What about the space-time continuum? Yeah, what about my future? And mine? The future can wait. We've got a present to catch up with. Where to, Doc? Mr. McFly, thrill me.